Hello viewers, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my YouTube channel. Viewers, in today's video, I am going to show you that how can you bypass MDN lock on your Infinix and M Techno smartphone devices. Right now, which you, as you can see, I have uh, two uh, Infinix smartphones, Infinix Smart 7 HD. Both are SPT uh, CPU based devices, but this method will work on SPT MTK, both CPUs on all devices of MTK Techno oh, smartphones. So first of all, you have to shut down your smartphones and now format it uh, you in the Dig mode. So I will open that tool and connect the smartphone in uh, Dig mode. As you can see, the tool is uh, the smartphone has been connected uh, to the tool in uh, Dig mode. Now I have, I have to success with, uh, simply click factory reset and the device will be formatted. And the same procedure will be applied on the second device. So I have to sim again kind of click on connect uh, button and now connect the device in off condition so the tool can detect it and put it on dike mode. When the tool successfully put the device in dike mode, you have to simply click on factory reset and the device will be formatted. As you can see, the second device has been formatted. So let's wait, uh, wait to turn it on. As you can see, the first device is on. So let's bypass uh, this device in the end. Simply click on white page for 7 to 8 time and the QR code camera will be open. Now, simply scan the code uh, with the camera of your device. After that, it will ask you to connect Wi-Fi. So simply connect your Wi-Fi. When the Wi-Fi is connected and uh, the device belongs to your organization, a message will be shown. So simply click on next. Both same procedure will be applied on the second device as you can see. This method is uh, working, it's a bypass method and it also works on all MTK HPD, Techno Smartphone and Infinix. I'll simply apply the same uh, procedure on the second device, connect to Wi-Fi, scan the code and wait for the process to be completed. As you can see it's reading, it's uh, working on it to create a setup. So let's do it over here. The second device has been completed. So simply use first option and create the device. As you can see, the first device has been uh, bypassed, and the second device has been also bypassed into the reset to the menu. Now one more step is remaining, so for that you have to simply enable the dual option and in dual option you have to enable the debugging option. So I'll, I'll enable the dual option and the USB debugging option on both devices after that. Connect your device to the PC, allow EDB, now connect, open the tool and the tool will start working his job. As you can see, all the report are, are showing successfully. So just wait over here to the until the tool done his job. As you can see, the first device has been done by the tool successfully. Now simply connect the Wi-Fi on this device. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is connected. Now I'm simply reboot the device. Now the second device connect to the PC, allow the EDB permissions. And now open the tool and the tool will be start doing his job. As you can see, on this device also, all the, two, all the reports are success uh, are showing on the tool. Now, as you can see, the tool done its job, so simply close the tool, disconnect the device, and both devices are connected to the Wi-Fi and successfully reported, but the MDM log has been not coming again. So, in this method, you can bypass all MTK, SPD, Infinix, Techno, Smartphone, MDA, MDM log. So, if you like the video, like the video, comment, comment down your thoughts on the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe.